Hey everyone, now we are going to cover switch commands. Now what essentially is this switch command? If we go and look at the web driver interface documentation, then we will see that it has one method here at the bottom which says this method is about switch to and it is like send future commands to different frame or window. So this is this is the function of web driver that we are going to cover and we are going to talk about what this switch to is for and what is the purpose or why this function was needed in first place. So there are three scenarios in switch to. So I'll write this switch commands can be of three types. The first is if we go on to our site and look at the switching commands there are three articles that we have written first one is switching alerts switching to alerts basically so some web pages sometimes when we are testing web applications then we see like there are three alerts here if I click this so this is a new alert that has come and until unless I discard this alert or I say okay I will not be able to interact with the web application so our web driver is controlling this page because in page we find elements and we click elements but all of a sudden some new thing has come and we want to act on this now this ok button if I right click here nothing is happening I cannot locate this button or inspect this button like we do here here if I do right click I inspect the button but alerts are not operable and alerts can be of three types message alert is this it is just showing a message on which we can say ok Confirm alert is kind of it's ok or cancel it takes a confirmation from us are you an intelligent person we say ok or cancel so whenever we say something it says ok welcome intelligent prompt alert is basically it's taking an input from you please enter your name so being zero I'll leave it default and I say ok and it says hello being zero how are you today so now the context here is whenever we are acting on some controls of our website then it is launching a new alert and we want to handle those alerts we want to switch our context so we want to tell the driver web driver hey web driver go to that alert and take some action so this is one type of switching so first type of switching that we are saying is switching to alerts alerts this we will cover second type of switching is now sometimes when we are dealing with the browser window let's let's go to the second type of switching which is switching windows so this is another web application and here uh, I have one link at the bottom selenium new tab page so let me click this now you see when I click this link it has opened the browser in a new tab it has opened a new tab altogether in the browser here we have terms and conditions if I click that we see another tab has opened now if we were doing it through automation we go to this page we click this link it opens a new tab so this is where we come in this tab we have to come and we have to click terms and conditions so that a new tab opens now in order to click this terms and conditions we were on this page when we click this tab and new tab opened so in order to click on this link on the new tab that is opened we need to switch our context to a new window so when we say switching to new window it can be same switching to window it can be a new window of the browser or new tab of the browser so you can say like this is switching to a different tab and taking some action so this is second type of switching that we need to do and third type of switching and last type of switching is switching to iframes switching to frames and frames are actually in our web page there are certain parts of the page that are coming from different websites so you would have seen websites where uh, Facebook likes are shown on the website so actually Facebook likes on a website when we show them they are not coming from our website they are coming the data is coming from the Facebook second type of uh, thing that we can see is if I go to let's say tutorials point On this side we see a lot of ads so if I go to any tutorial so let's go to competitive exams okay just randomly clicking now you see on the right side it is showing us ads this insight web hosting if I right click here and say inspect then this data that we are seeing is actually coming from a different site and this will be part of a different frame and a quick validation for doing that will be I'll keep on pressing the back arrow key and keep going up and you see there is HTML inside the HTML and what we see here is this is an iframe this particular thing so iframe is is the section of the page which comes from a different website 
so this is one iframe that we are seeing that it is coming from the same way one website may have multiple iframes now if i try to find this learn more button in my original page it will not be found if i do find element by uh, link text or id for this learn more so learn more is an image and this image does not have okay this image is part of this uh, hyperlink this anchor tag and in this amper, uh, anchor tag if we see here also there is no unique way of identifying it but for instance let's take an example here there was a login button now that login button is not part of our page that is part of this frame so in order to interact with any elements which are coming from another site in a frame we need to switch our context to that frame and then we need to act on that so that is the context of switching to frames and all these three examples are what we will cover in uh, switching commands so that we are comfortable in dealing with situations where switching may be required.